This week's feast, Sapphire Cupcakes from My Little Pony. All right, this feast is simple. It's been requested a bunch. My Little Pony is always in our comment section, but we just haven't done much from it, but we saw a picture of these cupcakes in Ash. We couldn't resist. I know, they are so cute, so adorable, and they have a quality to them that I think really attracts us on Piece of Fiction, which is you see a picture and you know you can make a really good looking version of it yes. in real life. So we have made this My Little Pony recipe our mission. Yep, and we have made it our mission for you, our viewers, that comment on all of our episodes and request the things. We're reading all of your comments, we're making a huge list, we're checking it twice. Ooh. And we have been naughty and nice because we're gonna make some <laughs> cupcakes that we deserve tonight. So let's get started. My Little Pony has a great play on the classic King Kong tale, the dangerous greed of dragons, and the importance of generosity and kindness in this cute episode where Spike gets a bit too many gifts on his birthday. Now the only gift we're interested in is this amazing sapphire cupcake, coated with gems and blue frosting, and who knows, maybe this is the real reason Spike goes down his dark path and turns into this. But hey, if a cupcake is that good, you know we gotta recreate it on Feast. We're gonna focus on the frosting and sapphire gems in this recipe, so just bake cupcakes according to any box recipe you'd like. You can use food coloring to turn it blue if you'd like to. For the frosting, there are a couple of ways you can go about it. You can be fancy schmancy with a pureed mixture of blueberries, or just make it easy and use a blueberry emulsion flavoring. Either way, the buttercream frosting is the same. Beat butter in a stand mixer until creamy, turn the mixer to low, and add confectioner sugar until combined, then pour in your heavy cream, blueberry emulsion drops, and a couple drops of blue food coloring until you get your desired shade. If you're gonna use pureed blueberries, you'll have to add a decent amount more of powdered sugar to counteract the liquid. The end result should be a thick frosting that firmly holds its shape. For our sapphire gems, we're making rock candy. So combine water, sugar, and corn syrup over high heat in a pan. Stir in some food coloring and keep the temperature rising until it reaches 300 degrees or hard crack stage for candy. Carefully watch the mixture, making sure it doesn't boil over or get too hot. You can remove the pot from the heat if it's getting too high and adjust the heat accordingly, then place it back on. Once it hits 300, remove it from the heat and stir in your flavoring, working quickly while it retains its temperature. Then quickly transfer the candy mixture to a candy mold. We use these red silicon ones that make gems and let the whole thing cool for one hour. Once you're done, remove the crystals from the molds and place into a small mixing bowl. Then sprinkle blue luster dust on top and give the gems a little hand mixing until they're evenly coated. Now take your cupcakes and pipe out your blue frosting onto each in a circular motion working inwards. Since the frosting we made is a little extra thick, you can then take your gems and just insert them into it wherever you'd like and voila! You've made sapphire cupcakes from My Little Pony. These are just loaded with sugary goodness and are especially sparkly thanks to these sapphire gems of all shapes and sizes on top. Now this show is only made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons at patreon.com slash feast of fiction so if you want to see more my little pony episodes in the future you can contribute your voice along many others and of course we dedicate each episode to one of our lucky patrons and this one is dedicated to who's that patron it's nick bellin nick belly wow 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 wow, wow, wow. look at wow. these gems there are different shapes and sizes of them and they are just wow. filled with edible glitter. Oh, what a cool, cool design. Cheers. Not to mention, I'm sure the flavor is amazing. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Oh, I love just the, 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 the breaded part of the cupcake so mm. much. That blueberry buttercream though, what is up? That's true. Now you know, fans of the show will know that I'm not a huge, huge fan of frosting in general, but I think if you do frosting right, and if it really contributes to the overall look of a cupcake too, like this blue. Oh yeah. Man, what a great effect. We did this right. And not to mention, these are just absolutely adorable. These are the kind of things that you show up to at a party with, the show stops. Yes, I was gonna say that. You took the words right out of my mouth. This is a show stopper. That's right. I took it right out of the horse's mouth. <laughs> do not look a gift cupcake in the mouth. Wait, no, do not look a gift pony. Oh, pony in the mouth. There it is. They are really, really nice. I love the color. I'm gonna mm -hmm. try and eat one of these candies now. You can make whatever kind of gemstones or whatever flavor buttercream that you like. That's true. You can make them red. You, you can make them rubies. You can make them emeralds mm -hmm. with green. They you have really so many. Could take your own liberties. Yeah, 
And they have so many of these little molds around the internet to make these gems. Really, you choose the color, you choose what you want to do with them. In this case, we're staying true to the My Little Pony universe and making them sapphire, but mm -hmm. what a fun recipe. This was so fun. Thank you guys so much for recommending this. We love super creative things. We personally don't have a lot of experience with My Little Pony, the show. Nope. But we are so happy to bring this to life for you guys. And we really appreciate all of your participation and consideration and comments and everything that you do to contribute to our show. Yeah. And I know that the My Little Pony fan base is really dedicated. Like they, they love this show absolutely. And their fandom for it is something that I can appreciate because this is a show based off of fandoms. We've seen Ashley erupt in happiness over Reptar. We've seen me go nuts for anime. And My Little Pony fans, this is the episode for you. So if you have a friend out there that also loves MLP, friendship is magic, and you want to share this with them and show them that it is possible and it's something that you can too do by yourselves at home, over the weekend, over Christmas, over holiday, whatever you want, share that video, share this video. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Yeah. And friendship is magic. So, <laughs> thank you, My Little Pony, for this wonderful little inspiration. Yes. It's so great to be able to take a recipe from fiction and make it look so good in real life. Yeah. And good job, Ash. Not hard to understand why the My Little Pony fans love this recipe so Absolutely. much. It's so cute. So, so cute. Thank you guys again for bringing this to our attention. And as always, leave a comment below and let us know what you want to see us make next. Especially if there's some Milo Pony recipes that we just cannot avoid. So let us know. I know they're still out there. So please. Yep. Tap, Give us tip, the tap, inside. Tip, 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 Information. Tap. Yeah, and also follow us on our social medias. Do all that good stuff. And find us over on patreon.com slash piece of fiction where our patrons actually help us decide what we make every month. So if you really love My Little Pony, you can show it to us there and let us know. And we see it, and we love it, and we appreciate you so much, yes. and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.